Now we're going to talk about individual case preparation. Um, I will talk about how to put things together and Espen will talk about how to do the individual case preparation first. So, Okay, so when you get a case, um, you have to, by the way, start early to prepare it. It's not something you do in 30 minutes before class or in the taxi on the way or something like that. Um, you, you have to start because set aside at least three hours, maybe four um, total preparation for a case. And um, you start by going very quickly through the case, reading it fast, just going through it and looking at it to familiarize yourself with the company and the situation, just get a feel for what it's about. Then you read it very structured a second time. This is when you bring out the yellow um, highlighter and take notes and the margin and so on and so forth and sort of see how does this, um, what, what is this case about? What are the individual elements that I need to understand in order to understand the whole case? And in this work, you can be helped by the study questions. We put study questions out with cases. And those questions are not necessarily what's going to be talked about in class, but they are there to help you prepare. If you answer the study questions, you, you get a good preparation. Pay attention to exhibits. The text is important, but very often really the meat of the case is in the exhibits, the tables or graphs or numbers or diagrams that are in a case. And then um, take notes. Um, you, if you're preparing for a classroom discussion, you need to take notes so that you can look at them instead of looking at the case when you're ready to talk. Um, so you need to actually read the case several times, once fast to familiarize, then structure to answer study questions, then with a view for the sort of whole picture again. One very important thing, um, when you're doing a case analysis, you should use what's in the case and not what's outside. It's no, if you're studying a company, it's no point to Google the company or read their website or something like that, because this case is set at a specific point in time. And, and that's the point where you're discussing the case. Often students go and Google the company to find sort of the right solution or what the company actually did. And, you know, so what if you find out what the company actually did? You don't know if that was the right thing to do. So stay with the case and prepare it thoroughly. Now you sort of understand what all the things in the case are about. Then you have to put the whole thing together. And if you want to put everything together, there are actually three things you have to consider. The first thing is the most important one. Mm -hmm. the line of argument, because you have all these details, but they need to be connected. They need to be put into a string of arguments. So, for example, if you use 10 slides or whatever, there is a need to be a clear connection between all your analysis that builds up to your final recommendation or conclusion or whatever you do at the very end. So your line of argument needs to be clean and clear. Okay? And that's really important, mm -hmm. because you cannot jump from prom solution, boom, you actually have to cascade it through analysis and support of your analysis, of course. You have to get it there from here. Yes. Yeah, not jump, you have to actually yes. walk it. You have to describe the road. Mm -hmm. So it's not just where you leave and where you arrive, it's the road that you follow. And that road that you follow actually can use two other things. First of all, you need to prove, provide evidence for your analysis. Mm -hmm. So a, a little bit of, of support from quantitative views, or from from other uh, from the exhibits um, or from the financial details that might be in the exhibits but you need to support evidence to follow to show that you are at this point of the road the other thing here is cases are part of courses so courses tend to be a course like strategy or technology or accounting and control so you can you can actually relate back this case to a larger picture saying okay this is where it fits in into the theoretical framework of my course so you need to connect it with the reading materials or the conceptual frameworks of your course. It's not just an interesting story that you have to analyze. There is a need to connect this with a larger framework. And now we're going to move on to group preparation because when you prepare it individually, you go to your study group, not the whole class, but your study group. And that's where you go with your conclusions and your ideas about what should be done in this case. 
and uh, you expose them to uh, the members of your group and learn from them and they learn from you. Thank <laughs> you.